Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And I'll tell you, it's been a while, right? Haven't been on camera in a year. Um, energies that I've been feeling for like the last two years to be exact just got to the point where I needed to just take a little bit of a break, but I'm so glad to be back. It feels so good. I woke up this morning and I told my Facebook friends, you know what, it's about time I get back on camera and I start doing my thing again. And here I am and I'm very happy that for those of you joining me today, I'm able to bring you this reading. Um, we're going to be using the Denise Lynn Sacred Forest Oracle. Okay, and I just received this uh, last week and it's an amazing deck. Um, first card I drew from this today was spot on. So. I knew Spirit wanted me to use this deck to bring the messages that we all need to hear. So let's get started. Uh, this will be a weekly reading for October the 26th. And as I shuffle the deck, you could use this as a pick a card reading, one, two, or three, or you could use this as a blended reading uh, for the beginning, middle, and end of the week. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. Good to be back. And the beginning of the week, I'll take a card from the top. We have Reflecting Pool, Stillness. Hope the camera's picking up on that. Okay. And middle of the week, or card number two, is going to be Wolf Spirit Family. There we go. And the end of the week, or card number three, is going to be Spirit Guardian of Summer Expansion. How lovely is that? It's like a beautiful peach tree, or is it an apple tree? Not sure. It could be either. How beautiful. Okay, so let's start with the first card, card number one at the beginning of the week. Stillness, Reflecting Pool. So what I'm getting from spirit is we may need to take some time out to reflect, okay? Um, we need stillness in our life because we can't be operating on overdrive 24 seven. Um, I know myself, I push myself so hard to do so much and I've had to, I've had to change my ways because it was very exhausting and you know, you miss out on a lot in life when you're too busy bogged down with your work. You have to have a balance between work and play and the stillness card is telling me, you know, maybe for a few moments in the morning if you want to meditate. I meditate each morning for like 15 minutes uh, for me to be relaxed, to set the tone for the day. Um, so this stillness card is telling me that, you know, some of us may want to do some inner reflecting early this week. Um, and let me see uh, what the book has to say about this, because this is the first time I'm using this deck of cards. Uh, so let's see. Okay, and the book says, in stillness, your power emerges. Tap into your inner sacred witness to discover the dwelling space of you and your soul. In profound peace and silence, you can discover the truth of your being. If you are in pain, go into the stillness until you find the source. Resist the temptation to indulge in feelings of overwhelm, urgency, and emergency. There is always a higher truth. Seek it out. Your soul loves what it is and is real and honest. So yeah, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe um, something that's been perplexing you, maybe it's time for you to sit in a meditation because when you still your mind, okay, the answers come to you, but we can't be rushing around and, and constantly, you know, stressed out. Uh, and expect the answers to come to us. Also, a lot of times we will miss the signs and synchronicities if we're too busy. So you may want to get some quiet time in the beginning of this week. And then in the middle of the week, or if you picked card number two, we have Wolf Spirit Family. Yes. And I was reading an article not too long ago about wolves and how both the mother and father take care of the young and that they are very, very um, loyal. 
uh, the wolves that, you know, are in packs and stuff, they are very loyal and, and very true to themselves. And um, I'll tell you, they put some human beings to shame. <laughs> you know, some people say, and I say this all the time, maybe they were better off being raised by a pack of wolves. <laughs> but um, yeah, wolf, uh, spirit and family. And so maybe we need some more time with our family. Uh, maybe we need to uh, delve into something that is going to help us in our home life. Uh, let me just take a look and see what we have to say about wolf spirit. Okay, and it says your family has your back. For some people, exactly. That's what I was getting from spirit that, you know, these wolves in packs, you know, they're very loyal. They have each other's backs. And this is telling you that, you know, um, their family are those related by blood, while for others, friends are their true family. And I was getting into this discussion with someone not too long ago, let's say a couple weeks ago. Um, I believe it was one of, a, one of the posts I posted on Facebook about so many people going through so many situations with their family and you know family does not have to be blood and if there was one uh, lesson that i've been learning the past several years is that your family is the people that you connect to okay your tribe people of like minds the people that you feel comfortable around to be you know yourself uh, enough of yourself that you don't have to watch what you say or you know watch how you act or you have to behave a certain way under around a certain you know people or, or group setting those people aren't your family whoever you're feeling comfortable around and it could be people that are in a support group that you belong to it could be people that belong um to your group of friends on Facebook. It could be maybe some of the followers that watch you on YouTube. It could be a neighbor. It could be a longtime friend. It does not have to be blood. And it's, you know, saying that right now that, you know, it, it's okay to step out and, and how could I say, connect, connect with the people around you. Okay, it doesn't have to be limited to your family all your life. Sometimes people are estranged from their family because of the way they're being treated. And a lot of people I know are feeling that way, uh, myself included, that you expect more from family members. Uh, they should have respect for you because they're blood, but you know what, sometimes that's not exactly so. So this is telling you that, you know, whoever you find yourself connecting with, um, some people that, you know, you may feel like you've known all your life. Maybe you do have a, a previous life connection with. So family doesn't always have to be blood is what I'm getting from spirit. Um, and a lot of you out there need to know that. And then the third card or the end of the week is spirit guardian of summer expansion. Okay. And I hope the camera picks that up. The beautiful, beautiful apples or peaches. Not sure what they are, but uh, this reminds me of, you know, uh, the tarot card of being patient. Okay. And um, what is it? The seven of pentacles, you know, where you planted the seeds. And that's what I'm getting from spirit with this card expansion that some of you out there have planted seeds. And this is telling you that whatever it is you've been working on, Okay, even though you might not have seen any progress, things are happening behind the scenes, okay? Things are lining up. Sooner or later, whatever it is that you're dedicating your time and energy to is going to bear fruit, okay? This is a time of expansion, okay? And maybe a lot of you have been, uh, you know, changing jobs. Maybe this is, you know, expanding in your career, uh, maybe this is going from working for someone to opening your own business and expanding in that way. Uh, maybe you're expanding your studies and, and learning new things that you could pursue, you know, maybe um, maybe setting up some type of healing. Maybe you're a healer. Um, whatever it is, I have a feeling that something is about to bear fruit, okay? And you need to go after, you know, what you want. Um, some of us are, you know, maybe scared to step out and try something new uh, for fear we're going to fail. 
But guess what? You never really fail if you've learned something from it. It's never a waste of time. So don't doubt yourself. Um, maybe you're taking the first steps to making changes in your life. And this expansion is, is something that you're going to be receiving as well. Maybe you're just a few courses away from graduating and, and changing your life altogether. Uh, maybe you're becoming a teacher, spiritual teacher, healer. Um, expansion can be so many things. Uh, but I'm feeling that, you know, from the looks of this uh, card and this tree bearing this fruit, okay, even though it's, it's winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, no matter where you are, uh, we have seasons in our life that don't correspond with the seasons that are going on, you know, where we live. Um, but this is telling me that some of you out there are going to be seeing the fruits of your labor. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful card. I know that I've been doing a lot of studying and a lot of uh, self-improvement, self-mastery, uh, studying a lot of uh, cards, a lot of healing, a lot of meditation, um, a lot of holistic things, um, herbs, crystals, you name it. And I feel like, you know, I've gained so much knowledge uh, just by being on this channel and doing these videos that a lot of you out there that have been watching these videos, you're feeling expansion too. Um, and things will change in your life as long as you persevere and you, you know, stay true to yourself and be authentic. This expansion is going to come your way. Wow. What a powerful week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.